I just discovered a new holy grail, the best item you should use in Pokemon Unite for any hyper carries that allow you to one shot Zapdos like this. Is this the care of my life? Now, for those who did not understand what just happened, I just did 10,000 damage in one shot with Gengar and Zapdos within one second. As you can see, the first Shadow Ball did about 2,700 damage, and the second Dream Eater did about 3,800 damage, and the second phase of my Unite move did 3,400 damage. In another word, I did 10,000 damage in a one shot combo with Gengar on Zapdos. Hey, yo, guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy, Assassin Dave. Welcome back, Team Four and Famous Family again and welcome to another video this time i want to feature an item that is so underrated and actually so hidden under the radar that not too many people want to use it now i gotta say most of the time when people don't like this item it's actually well sustained there are a lot of reasons behind it the passive of the item is actually not that great but today we're going to show you a different aspect where you can use this item and actually be really really impactful in the entire game and obviously by this point you already know the item is called energy amplifier now just a quick background about this item this item supposedly give you some energy rate which means like you're gonna get your unite a little bit faster and it also give you cd reduction what cd means is cooldown so basically gonna get your regular skill faster and on top of that you also have 21 percent additional damage which lasts for four seconds after you activate unite remember this damage also applies to the unite itself so let's say you're playing cinderace you're playing good ninja you can use the energy amplifier to actually just boost the damage of your unite now the thing about this item that is actually quite interesting is the energy charge rate basically the item is supposedly going to help you to get your unite six percent faster however from hours and hours of rigorous testing i found out that this six percent extra charge rate doesn't do anything at all i've compared myself getting unite with or without energy amplifier it takes me the same amount of wild pokemon i have to kill also takes me the same amount of scoring frequency in order to get the unite back now i cannot confirm nor deny if this is the bug I just know it doesn't work for me. Maybe 6% charge rate bonus is a little bit too little to notice. I cannot confirm that because I've tested many, many times and it really didn't feel like any changes at all. Leave a comment down below and let me know about your Unite Charge experience with Energy Amplifier. Another reason why this item is so unpopular is because for the longest time, Body Bear is so strong of item where everybody had to take it. And if you think about all this other attack damage, whether you get a normal attack or a special attack damage item, think about how good and how valuable valuable they are, you leave people just off for body bear as a last item and go for two other damage items as carry players. But now with the body bear nerf, where it doesn't stack, you don't even get that much shield, it's actually a lot more valuable for a lot of hyper carry players to just straight up take three damage items. Now, if you're playing on the side lane and you're confident that you can get some scoring, obviously attack weight or special attack specs might be better choices. But if you're going through the center area, well, let me tell you, the energy amplifier might just be your best option considering you're not going to score that frequently and hear me out okay the four seconds of the 21 percent bonus damage is actually the exact reason why you want to take energy amplifier forget about the cooldown reduction forget about the unite charge rate they might be bugged they might not be it doesn't matter because the 21 percent bonus damage for four seconds is so game changing especially for a lot of characters that you're gonna see today and you can take my words to the bank now just how significant is it let me give you a direct visualization. A lot of you guys who have been following the channel knew I did a video comparing all the one-shot combos in the entire game, who can secure Zapdos the best, as you can see in this graph right here. If you always wanna go back and check out that video, you can also click on the link to go see that video as well that's shown on screen. Now the point is, Gengar without energy amplifier can do about 7,200 damage if you do the full combo. That full combo includes a Shadow Ball, a Dream Eater damage, and a Unite damage. And that was without any help without energy amplifier if you add the extra 21 percent damage on top of it you probably do around 8500 damage now you may wonder hey at the beginning of the clip you show something that did 10,000 damage basically 9900 how do you do that so what ended up happening was we had a weekly tough on the enemy side who was also seeing on the zapdos because nobody weekly tough thought he can secure from the world renowned gaming superstar 10,000 damage one shot energy amplifying gengar and for those who did not get the point by now basically weekly seeing will reduce the special attack defense 
toughens on the Zapdos even further, which amplifies my damage output as Gengar. But usually when you're doing a full combo with Gengar, you do about 9,000 damage. With a little bit of help like Wiggly or Slowbro's passive, you can do 10,000 damage, which is absolutely crazy with Energy Amplifier. Even just 9,000 damage when you're doing everything by yourself, that's still the highest KOing threshold in the entire game. Nobody can do that much damage in a singular burst of skills. Let me put this in a simple terms. You can basically use your full combo onto the Zapdos. When Zapdos drops to 35 to 40% HP, I guarantee you, you will full shot the Zapdos at that point. And we don't need to talk more on how important securing Zapdos is. And this is why Energy Amplifier is so good on a character like Gengar. Oh, by the way, the damage doesn't just apply to Zapdos. Got him. Energy Amplifier Gengar, guys. The best part about Energy Amplifier is it doesn't only apply to one character alone like Gengar, it also applies to some other characters that can do a lot of damage after Unite. For example, Greninja. You can actually use your Unite move and then amplify your Unite damage, amplify the Surf damage, and amplify the melee range auto attack damage. For those who did not know, Greninja's melee auto attack actually counts the enemy missing HP as bonus damage. If you get a boosted auto attack in melee range, that's 10% of their missing HP as bonus damage. Imagine when that damage actually crits and you have a 21% amplification on top of the damage dealt, you will literally be demolishing everyone on the battlefield like a piece of cakes. And you know what else that might taste as good as cakes? The sensation you receive after you smash the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells, knowing that you will get updated every time a new banger video goes live in the coolest crit of the baddest community in the Pokemon Unite, knowing that you have helped out in the fastest growing community in this entire gaming arena yeah that is right if you want to be involved actively in the community make sure to use the link in description to join us on our daily live stream we stream for seven days a week for your pleasure and entertainment so what you're waiting for use the link in description right now and join us in the live stream tonight but remember, my dear viewer, once you're taking the energy amplifier on Greninja or Gengar, your defensive stats is taking a hit. So it's vitally more important to make sure that you don't jump in first, that you pay close attention to your positioning and truly take advantage of the full four seconds after you use your Unite. Where are they? I'm trying to show the energy Greninja right now. Last second! There we go. Energy, energy Queen Ninja, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! 40, 50, 40, 50. Score, you know what they say, action always speak louder than words, and here is the gameplay where I'm gonna show you the power of the energy amplifier dominating the battlefield, shred through the Zapdos, and winning the game for the team. Alright, just do it in. Lost the silicon! Again. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go to the game and try it out yourself. And remember to check out another video with a thumbnail right here. Just for